Okay, hello everybody and welcome to your next SFML tutorial. So, the the last few tutorials might have been a bit overwhelming or they might have seen a bit faster rushed or fast paced, right? Um, I'm really sorry if, if it seems that way, but I, I'm this, this is for people who like um, really, really know C++. So I expect like when I say something, I don't have to explain it as in depth as in my beginner tutorials because if I if I do that this tutorial series will take forever you know what I mean so uh, if you don't get some of the concepts and that could either mean that uh, one I'm explaining it really bad or uh, you need to brush up more on your C++ or or whatnot or if you have any simple questions just don't be afraid to comment or inbox me or post a question on my on my website like there will always be questions right there might be something I, I rushed or something that I didn't say clear that I didn't clarify uh, that you can always ask so don't be afraid to ask if I if I rushed into something tell me I'm rushing and I'll try to improve in future videos anyways uh, th this one we're gonna be slowing down uh, this one sh you should be able to relate to better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a class and uh, this class is going to be called input manager okay so in the the input manager is going to handle all input within our programs okay uh, that is precisely what it is going to do okay so the the input manager uh we're gonna have uh two public fun we're gonna have uh some public functions one of them is gonna be update we're gonna have key pressed uh and it's gonna take key and uh we, we can have an overload and we're gonna have an array of keys key array or actually it would be easier if we did a vector hmm it'll be it'll be better if we did a some key vectors now for those of you who do not know what vectors are uh, a lot of people don't teach it in a beginner tutorial series and when I release it I'll, I'll make sure to let you guys know when I release t tutorial on it but a, a vector is uh, it's like a resizable in a array. It is a container class. I'm not gonna go in depth into it, um, but it's it's a resizable array, dynamic in array, and and it, it makes life so much easier. Okay, so uh, we could have a vector of ints, and uh, we can have our keys in there, and then we'll have key released. And we'll have overload key released and key, and we have an array. No, we have a vector. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to input manager and we're gonna do void input manager, and we have our updates. Well, actually, hmm we probably wouldn't even need this update uh so i'll take this out for now but i will see if we need it later so our first uh method is uh keep um key pressed so we're gonna say that if uh and you know, actually we will we will make use of the uh the update uh what we're gonna have uh, we're gonna go to the private section and we're gonna have a uh, Allegro event. No, why am I talking about Allegro? Um, gonna have a SF event, and I, I'm so sorry about that. I'm doing the three different series, and it's so confusing. Okay, so I have an event for there. Uh, so uh, in our update, our update is going to take one parameter. And that's gonna be uh, SF update. I mean SF event. And our event. This event is equal to event. And so this has to be the parameters. 
so we go to input manager and in our update this is the parameter okay uh, so we're gonna go to input manager at CBP and we're gonna say that if event um, dot key dot code is equal to our key uh, then we um, then we say return true and this should be boolean sorry I keep on messing this up in my tutorials but this should be boolean uh, so change these all to bool except for the update so we're going to change the bool and we're going to go to input manager and we're going to change these all to boolean bool bool and bool so they're all boolean so if we go back to input manager cpp uh, we have a return value for that and we're going to say input manager that key pressed uh, but this one we have our vector and uh, our keys so this time it's gonna be uh, fairly similar but uh, with a for loop so we're gonna say uh, for keys dot size and we're gonna increment by one and right here we're gonna have return false and we're going to say that if event.key.code is equal to keys i then we return true okay so for key release so so for the key release there's two things we could do we could have a we can calculate a previous event and our current event and then we can compare the two or we could do it the SFML way. Uh, either way, it's fine. But uh, let's do the SFML way since we're using SFML. Uh, so we'll say input manager key released, uh, and we'll have int key. So we'll say that if event dot key dot code equals key and SF, I believe it's input. Uh, release no it's not input it is events I think SF event released key released yeah that's it so if that is um, if that's the case then we return true else we return false and for the overload uh, key released int uh, no no std vector int key released and we'll have a for loop that will loop through it so i is less than uh should be keys keys dot size If event dot key dot code equals to keys I and SF event key released, uh, then we return true, else we return false. So um, also we want to be able to input manager is going to handle all uh, inputs. We want to uh, check for if they're holding a key down. So we'll check that too so key down and uh, we could have that for uh, one key and we could have it for multiple keys as well and uh, the reason why we have it for multiple keys because uh, there's many different things that could use uh, same key so for example if we're if we use W A S and D right for movement, or we have the option of using the arrow keys, then we can have like we can say that if they press if they press up or if they click W, then they're moving in the upward direction, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we have that option if they want to input multiple keys or only one. Uh, so we're gonna say input manager key down, and we have the first overload, and we're gonna say that if 
but this one has to take in the window SF render window so if window dot and let's change this and we change the SF render window and window okay so if window dot get input see this is the thing I don't really like about SFM I'm, I mean code blocks because you can't really tell um, but get input is key down and key so we're gonna check for that key if they press that if they press that key then we're gonna say return true if they're holding it else we're gonna return false and last but not least before this tutorial ends we'll have bool input manager key down sf render window and window std vector and keys now I don't know if I did that for yes I did uh, so quickly we're gonna say for I less than keys dot size and we're gonna say that if, if window I get input dot is key down keys I uh, then we return true else we return false so I'm sorry if I messed up because we didn't get to test the code and I'm sorry for one of the code aspects is wrong but uh, we'll find our next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and